hi guys welcome back to my channel it's ash Babes, aka namako magic here and if you haven't yet please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and do the things that need to be done right here on this channel so today what we're going to be talking about is something very personal to me something very very you know to me and it's it's not something that I'm gonna speak in Nama or Damara, whatever you wanna call it in. Is everybody knows as my username on YouTube says Nama Girl Magic. I am a Nama proud one, you know. Hadrak and Hadak. No, Nama girl. So from the south. <laughs> Just an FYI. I mean everybody knows that by now. You know what? Anyway, let me stop rambling. So this is really a personal issue to me or whatever you want to call it i um you know there's just a lot going on right now in the world a lot you got you got the rona you got the black lives matter movement you got all of that just just a lot going on and in the midst of that i was on facebook and i've been you know seeing a lot of tribal you know remarks a lot of stereotypes a lot of things that people say you know against um each other in namibia i mean obviously we know that we it's a lot of we are very diverse in namibia we got a lot of we are just like a melting pot we just got everybody heraros namas colors um Vambus, you know just everybody Tawana, Tosa, Zulu you know we just got everybody in there I mean and um, in the midst of you know everything that's really going on and the overwhelming racist things and everything just in the midst of that um, I was on Facebook as I was saying and then I came across something very disturbing usually I don't like talking on you know stuff like that you know I just like to keep it you know light and just you know just airy on my channel but today I just felt like I needed to you know speak on this I needed to say something about it I just I just couldn't you know I just couldn't wrap myself around not saying anything against this I saw a post on Facebook where a teacher in the tiny uh, which is in the south you know made a post on Facebook or WhatsApp wherever he posted this um, and the guy um, said that Oh, he hates namas and he's gonna oh he wish he could kill them with a he wish he had an ak you know 40 or whatever you know call it and he wish he could do this and that and whatever i mean and i was like wow and I, he wishes that the corona kills the nama tribe and stuff like that and this is from a from a from a community work i mean as a as an as an educator as as a teacher this is i mean like what type of mess is that like how do you teach these kids and pro in you teaching in a predominantly you know nama community which is patani and i don't know what this i don't even know like it's just crazy to me how anybody can go on it's like i, I was thinking i was like <laughs> is he is it attention seeking like what is it because it's crazy to me how anybody could you know feel such hate such hate you know such hate speech and just put it on social media for the for for that matter i'm like wow like who does that it's crazy to me how it's just like tribalism has been a thing in maybe you know and wow it's you know i'm just like how do people live how do you like I thought we was we were past that. I thought, you know, since apartheid was over, since colonization from Germans and all that, I thought we was gonna be, we were gonna try to be united as a nation and and just you know just accommodate everybody. Like everybody got their flaws. All the people got their flaws going on, but. At the end of the day, just like in a family, um, 
you know this person is this way that person is that way whatever but we still try to um, you know accommodate everybody we still try to accept this person with their flaws with their ways with their characteristic flaws with their characteristics you know everybody's not the same but we still try to live you know in a respectable manner in a you know but then we still have people out here really trying to spew hatred and just put pin you know tribes against each other and stuff like that i'm like wow this is just a lot like you know people we're just really going through a lot right now but it's really unnecessary for especially you know the divide and rule situation that's been going on for ages in namibia but we're still doing it we're still you know and it's and it's a thing that people like you know parents right now you know it's we should teach our kids to do better we should teach our kids to 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 accept everybody you know to accept everybody especially in a little country as Namibia you know it's very unnecessary for people to be going around and FYI before I forget this and ramp before I start rambling about something else not all numbers you know me as a number person I'm not representing all the numbers not all numbers are like me not all numbers speak like me not all numbers I me, you know, I don't represent the whole, you know, Nama community. Just because you see one person doesn't mean, oh, that's this person is representing all the numbers. No, that's not what's going on. You know, all the numbers are not the same. It's like saying, oh, all black people like chicken. Not all black people like chicken. You and know, it's like, if you come on this platform, if you come on my channel and try to, you know, pin people against each other or if you try to you know do all that you know you've come to the wrong place you know because we don't condone that here we 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 are a rainbow nation we we accept everybody but usually I see a lot of hate speech you know against Nama people against Tamara people and I can't stand that I can't just like wink it every time I mean most of the times I just like Ugh, whatever but this one was very this one really bothered me because as a kid um just because i you know went to school in the south doesn't mean i only get teached by you know nama people or damara people like there's a lot of teachers like a lot of bamboo um, hero teachers and stuff like that or college teachers whatever you want to call it and um uh, for a person to be like you know saying stuff like that especially in a community like that like that's a threat that's that's not right you know and the person needs to be dealt with accordingly you know like let's let's not just wink it and be like oh hey, yeah people say that every day oh number people like to drink a lot oh number people like to do this or number people like to do this or damara to this damara to that and blah 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 I'm like are you serious? Do you know how many how many things other people do? You know, just in general for you to be like pinning out one tribe again, you know and you know just saying just this terrible things against us like hello stop let's just stop let's just be together let's just be one nation you know what happened to namibia you know one nation the one whatever like what happened to that our forefathers fought against this you know against apartheid against col you know colonization against the germans and all this for us to you know be you know a one group of individuals i mean i understand we are not the same people we have our own tribes we have our own cultures we have all those things going on but you know initially the main purpose of everything is you know we respect one another so we can stay cordially and you know in the same country and tolerate each other in the same country that's what that's the misconception that people think one person is representing everybody not everybody is the same person just like you are not you are the same you know your mom and you know you guys are twins or you have the same parents but that doesn't mean you are like your brother you are like your sister that doesn't mean that at all like everybody has their own thing going so let's just stop the hate speech and especially from community people community members and people that work for the community for the general public like teachers nurses doctors you know stuff like that people that have to deal with people on a daily you know people from different people from different backgrounds and all that let's stop doing that and going on facebook's and places like that and 
you know just doing a lot like let's stop that let, let's let's just you know and everybody you know freedom of speech we are in a democratic country people can say whatever they want I understand that people have their own opinions people have their own thing that they you know want to say which is fine you can say whatever you want that's your prerogative that's what you want to do at the end of the day but to go all the way you know a kitchen talk you know how people say like kitchen talk like things that you people say you know around family or around the kitchen with your close people that you know or family or friends or whatever like going all the way on facebook and doing all that like i'm like wow there are really people out there that's doing so much and stop talking so much mess about you know everybody and especially speaking personally about you know you know, I can only speak about me, about my experiences and about my culture and what I, you know, was going through growing up. Like, just the way I was in, you know, in a, I went, I, you know, there was a lot of people there and I came to like a house party or like a barbecue or whatever, you know, but I was on step noon and, uh, on slow dark and, and, uh, that was so sexy by a man said that and then the person, the person, like one person just like blatantly, you know, just just said, ah, oh, none of people ain't people, you know, they ain't this, they ain't that because they are so, they are so lazy, they don't do anything, they're just going around drinking, impregnating and uh, you know, and the disrespect about the whole thing was, I mean, we're sitting there, actually, I'm sitting there as a number person, and then everybody around there is laughing. <laughs> like, how? Like, hello, do you know how many things I can say about a person? Like, I don't even need to go into detail about somebody's tribe or somebody's ethnic you know ethnicity I can literally just reach you you as an individual not you know involving your forefathers and everybody like that like but I was just like wow I just literally had to take myself out of that situation before I literally curse somebody out and you know drag somebody but yeah so that was just you know me like let's just really stop this mess and let's try to teach our kids and the future generation you know better so our kids don't do all that you know let's just accept everybody and let's just do that like accept everybody and know that one number person doesn't represent the next I don't represent everybody else I respect I talk about myself I speak on myself and I speak about personal experiences about my life not everybody not me Joanna Maria I'm a great believer my believer to me so in a way you can say oh I'm a number I'm a this I'm a that I'm a day nee nee nah nee nah nee nah nee 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 but when you go out of Namibia maybe as a sports person like whoever you are like you play soccer you, you you know whatever you do as a Namibian you represent the country especially when you get out of the borders of Namibia people don't look at you always the number as a example as a hero people look at you oh that's a Namibian person you know so at the end of the day we have a common purpose we love all of us love our country which is the land of the brave we love our country as a fellow countryman everybody loves their own country as you know as their own so let's just remember that at the end of the day we are not a nama we're not a hero we're not a colored we're not a twana we are namibians for sangue and glad ones from car respect us as such and let's stop spewing hate and let's stop stereotyping people let's accept everybody as who they are and let's live in a happy, beautiful country, which is Namibia, with the, with the hospitality, with everybody, just amazing people. You know, overall, everybody's just, I've met a lot of amazing people, you know, and I don't look at them as a certain tribe or as a certain whatever, just, just the person inside, and that's all that matters. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching my videos and see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.